Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're actually going to be talking about XRP as well as XLM. These two are very, very significant assets to talk about side by side because they also pump side by side. And I know a lot of you are probably going to say, well, XLM pumped to like 40 cents and XRP didn't move. Yeah, well that's because XLM is actually trailing behind XRP right now. XLM should be a little bit higher in terms of price action uh, to really kind of meet with XRP. And XRP is still outperforming XLM right now in terms of percentage gains. So it does have a little bit more traction to really kind of catch up to XRP currently. But it doesn't matter. These two are incredible assets. And right now, I do just want to ask if you guys are new to the channel and you guys do personally love crypto content, news and analysis, all about crypto and all that kind of stuff, definitely hit that like, subscribe and turn notifications on to really help the channel grow. It does, you know, help me a lot and I do greatly appreciate that. Now overall, let's refresh the coin market cap. So we are seeing, again, volatile price action. I've said it multiple times. We will be seeing volatile price action as we do range on today as today is the weekly candle close. I'm more so dead set on next week. So in one week on Halloween, essentially being the main focus point right now for the mo uh, for the market because that is the monthly candle close as well as the weekly candle close which is very significant now i do also want to talk to you guys about xrp and xlm because when we're talking about these two these are you know two assets that have battled each other in the past a lot of people think you know one is better than the other i don't think that at all i'm actually unbiased on both of these i think that these two are actually very significant holdings on their own um you know i think that stellar is more so for retail and p2p markets also just so you guys know on the seven day span this has been making some leeway from all the way as low as uh, about 37 cents to where it is roughly now which i know it is only 38 cents but we also were just at 40 cents just in the last seven days so this is continuing its upward momentum when we're talking about the monthly span this is where i was talking about it in my original videos on xlm down at around 26 cents i think that 26 cent mark is very very nice in terms of an entry point for anybody who did enter there in terms of my uh, video on it because this is also major support going as far back as january so i think that that is a great price point to get into anybody who is buying during the summer it was about five cents cheaper but it's still you know, that main resistance point going all the way back to November of 2020, which in my opinion is a no brainer to accumulate it at that, those prices. Now, XRP, a lot of these assets, XRP and XLM have not had their significant gains yet. You know, these haven't made these major all time highs or anything like that. You know, XRP hit $2. Yeah, that's cool, whatever, but it's not even the all time high, right? So Right now, this is what I'm focused on. XRP and XLM will rocket up aggressively to this bull market. You might be wondering why or when. Well, first off, we already know that XRP and XLM both topped out somewhere in around the December to January timeframe. That's what I'm personally watching for. We could even see topping points of around even um, February. So we're watching around that point, very key for XRP and XLM. We also see our XRP and XLM haven't pumped at all. So let that sink in. And that is the truth, right? These haven't made significant significant gains this year you know yeah sure you know when we bought at 11 cents or 17 cents during the you know sec lawsuit on xrp yeah we made significant gains already but it's nothing too crazy you know for those that have been holding this long term you already know that xrp has a lot more juice left in the tank and when we're talking about stellar lumens or xlm you know yeah sure this made some significant gains from you know cents to almost a dollar up here but again it's not a major move this is not even the all-time high so this these two assets have a ton of potential for massive upward momentum this bull run now we also talk here about iso 222 adoption it's coming and when it does the mere possibility of a crypto protocol and its token being mass adopted for the new era for electronic data interchange and base layer for payment transactions credit and debit card safe bets xlm iota algo xdc and xrp these are some great assets to hold i personally think x 
uh, XDC is very undervalued as well for anybody who does want to get into XDC. Definitely look into it, do your research because it is a very significant gem. I have a ton of content on that asset as well. I do have videos on Algo, but it's not as many. Um, again, this was a great asset to be holding. XRP and XLM though, I do think that these are great choices. I think those XLM, XDC, and XRP um, assets in terms of the X assets that people like to call them are very, very significant to be holding for the future of what I so 222 adoption has going for it. Now we also see here one day you'll realize it was right in front of your face the entire time and it was one cent. And this is talking about um, SHX, by the way, if you if you guys were unaware, um, because this is talking about, you know, even Stellar, by the way. So we do see here, uh, Ukraine government picks Stellar Development Foundation to help build national digital currency. If you guys missed this, this goes back to January 4th of this year. Um, this also got updated just recently, by the way, in September uh, of this year. But we also see here Ukrainian president sends crypto bill back to parliament. Um, only disagreed with part of the crypto bill. The rest was fully fine. Um, IBM supply chain and blockchain blog. All money transactions in the Stellar network except Lumens uh, occur in the form of credit anchors by anchors. Now, again except lumens it's because that could be tran uh, transferred or transacted with um, but we do see her occur in the form of credit issued by anchors which is still leveraging the stellar network which is also providing value for again at the end of the day xlm stellar co-founder and crypto pioneer jed mccaleb said strongholds usd anchor is a uh, cornerstone piece of bridging uh, or bringing sorry the stellar network to mass market adoption this is going to happen very, very fast. I think it's only a matter of time before we do see that major adoption taking place with a lot of these digital assets. Now, of course, they are talking about SHX. If anybody who is unaware of what SHX is, uh, that is Stronghold. It's a it's a crypto asset. I haven't done too much research on it, to be completely honest with you, so I'm not going to tell you if it's good or not. I do know that it is around one cent. It's almost around two cents, um, with the all-time high being around like almost three and a half cents or four cents. So if you guys are interested in a low cap gem, maybe look into it and see uh, what they are doing because we even see that the CEO of Stellar is actually talking about it. So it might be an interesting find. Now we also see your whales accumulating XLM. We actually see your account balance. We are seeing massive balances increasing on Stellar Lumens. Uh, this goes back from week of Monday, August 2nd back here. This was around 39.1 million um, Stellar or XLM. Now we are seeing 50 to 100 to 150 and 200 million plus XLM being, you know, adopted in, or I should say being accumulated um, instead. So this is massive accumulation happening. And I have told you guys for the longest time that this is going to get accumulated very, 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 very fast, just like XRP. And this has been getting accumulated throughout this entire process. And I think it is only a matter of time before we see a lot more of that actually taking place. And uh, we also see our XLM IBM World Wire. Let's go. And if you guys miss this, uh, this goes back to um, essentially this back here as well. This is that IBM news. Um, this is pretty much that same thing, you know, talking about the overall financial services and stuff that they're essentially going to be working with. This is also for cross-border payments, utilizes the Stellar network while uses um, Lumens as bridge currency, essentially a unit of value for transfer of value and transaction cost calculations. Now, again, like I said, a lot of people People love to talk about XRP and stuff. But again, when we're talking about XLM, do not disregard this at all as a bridge currency as well. All money transactions in Stellar Network except Lumens occur in the form of credit. This is what I was just talking about. So this is actually fairly huge in terms of cross-border payments. I've already said that cross-border payments are such a massive market in terms of B2B and stuff. We've always talked about Stellar Lumens in P2P and retail use. Um, but I've always said they also have connections to the B2B sector. So definitely keep an eye out on that because that adoption ha is happening very, very fast within this market. And I would not be surprised if it continues to happen like that. We also see here, does anyone really think it's normal for XLM and XRP to be at the prices they are compared to other assets? With all partnerships they have, ecosystems they have built, light years ahead, high profile people employed by them, think again. And yes, this is the truth. These two assets are extremely undervalued for what they are providing the world with. That ODL service is absolutely massive. It's an untapped diamond right now that a lot of people are not realizing. But once you know things clear up and people finally realize the value behind it and see it, 
that's where a lot of people are going to say, wow, I should have been accumulating XRP this entire time. Stellar Lumens, the same thing. Once this truly breaks out of this nice wedge that it created all the way back in May, this is going to be an absolute massive gem that a lot of people are going to wish that they accumulated a lot of as well. These are insane valued assets that do not have their true potential unlocked yet. People need to realize what they are actually holding and understand what they are actually holding as well. Now, we we'll also see here, uh, are you sure you're holding the chosen one, right? And we do see your X XLM, Stellar Trading Brokers in India, um, LEM Commodities, established in London in 2013, Stellar Trading System Stellar. It is mentioned multiple times. That's the API for Stellar, Stellar Trading Systems to connect to NASDAQ futures. This goes back to 2015, by the way. Uh, we do see here Stellar Trading Systems. Again, this is, I think this is patent technology or, or no, this is just uh, Stellar Trading Systems in terms of, yeah, this is... This is a pen, right? Yeah, this is a pen. Um, so overall, this is pretty much talking about trading the API as well. This is also talking about quantum servers as well, as well as the ASP. And I know that I just said as well multiple times, but it is what it is. But we do see here, Stellar Trading Systems is an independent software vendor ISV that offers a multi-asset trading platform and serves high-frequency trading clients in Europe, Asia, and the US. It connects the, to the world's major exchanges as well. Now we also see here the CFE becomes the 19th venue or exchange that Stellar Trading Systems has connected to in the Americas according to the information on the ISV's website in addition to 20 venues in others in the process of connecting to the Tokyo Financial Exchange, TFE, and Tokyo Commodities Exchange. So this is fairly huge uh, news. Now of course, like I said, XLM will handle the retail market, XRP will handle the, the derivatives market. And that is the end goal for a lot of these two assets. You know, I've talked to you guys a lot uh, a lot about these two assets um, in regards to you know where we do see XLM going and XRP going and I do think that they're focused on two completely different niche audiences and I think that that's where a lot of people kind of get the idea on hey which one is the chosen one which one's going to outperform the other there is no chosen one there is no one that's going to outperform the other it's going to be these assets are going to be adopted and utilized on a massive scale whichever one wins the race it doesn't really matter because we are both going to be you know holding these we are going to be holding these both assets and and pretty much accumulating them while they are as cheap as they are and then of course capitalizing on their massive upward potential that they have and of course we do see here the stellar foundation signed an agreement that will allow it to develop a payments bridge that streamlines money transfers we really need to under understand what moneygram is actually doing this is huge for the stellar foundation we also see here this is what people forget every business that uses stellar org uses xlm this is also the great idea that i talked about in terms of you know even hbar like Hedera Hashgraph's overall mainnet, all of the use cases, all of the companies working with uh, Hedera is all utilizing H uh, HBAR on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is what is really going to provide the massive value for a lot of these digital assets is just use cases alone. And the idea that a lot of these assets are going to really price appreciate very, very fast once they are utilized on this massive scale. These are global markets that we're talking about, the global cross-border payments market, the global P2P market. This is a ton of money when we're talking about it, right? And we also see our XLM for XLM's price, adding the 1,830% to 0 0.716 cents reveals a, theor a theoretical target of $13.78. Not sure if we will see that, but I've always said 5 to $10 overall for my end goals on XLM. So it is what it is. I don't care really where we go as long as I know where we did top at, which of course I will watch the Fibonacci levels on Bitcoin as well as watching the RSI and stuff because that actually tells you guys a lot of things in regards to Bitcoin's top. Now, of course, we do have to watch for the altcoin market cap kind of bottoming out or I should say topping out and then, you know, of course, switching into that nice bearish sort of price action. So I'm watching this market fairly closely as as we do kind of range on here now we do see here in case you missed it the new york department of financial services nydfs already gave xlm approval to trade on the new york stock exchanges this is pretty pretty cool i mean honestly this is huge technology and this is huge innovative innovation news now they are saying this is old this is from june 14th 2018 of course listen this is old news but it still is in you know 
this is what is actually happening. Like we are seeing this come to fruition right now. We are seeing adoption happening throughout the entire crypto exchanges and crypto markets. And when we're talking about exchanges going live on the NASDAQ, like Coinbase and stuff, we're talking about IPOs for companies like Ripple as well. It would not surprise me if Stellar Lumens actually went uh, you know, live on the, the NASDAQ or on the New York Stock Exchange or anything like that. That's what I'm pretty much looking forward to seeing these major exchanges or these major tokens as well going live. As, and that's pretty much the end goal, right? We're talking about massive adoption in terms of retail demand as well. So retail individuals could essentially just call up the stock you know, market or you know, trade on the stock market, whatever they want to do, and uh, essentially trade in terms of crypto and crypto exchanges and all that kind of stuff. Now, of course, we already kind of see that with the Bitcoin ETF. I personally will continue to accumulate my crypto on crypto exchanges or crypto driven exchanges because I personally don't care to buy from the stock market. I just don't care for it. So. You know, that's my personal viewpoints on that, but I still think that this is great in terms of retail demand and retail innovation. So although it is old news, we are already seeing this come to fruition. Coinbase was the first in terms of an exchange. We already know that Ripple wants to be the first in terms of an IPO. So the future is very, very exciting for these two assets, and I'm going to be here for it, and I'm going to be holding both of these assets during that time because these are great in terms of a massive undervalued giant. These are two undervalued fintech giants that are going to do incredible things and price appreciate greatly. So with that being said, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night. Because Zarn is beautiful. This is Nick. Peace out, guys.